Hello everyone, welcome back to TNT Go Dutch. This week we're in Harlem. Harlem, again. <laughs> yeah, so when we first came to Harlem, it was a little bit of an exploratory thing. We didn't really know what to expect. Our sound but, was awful. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but <laughs> with that, now we know a little bit more about the city. We know what to expect. We know some favorite places to go check out. So we're going to take you along with us. And uh, first we're going to start here, which is probably... One of the prettiest train stations in all of the Netherlands. It's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. Super beautiful. Lots of old-timey elements. Um, and it was featured in the Ocean's 12 movie. Yeah, yeah. The part where they're leaving the train station looking for, you know, how are they going to continue on their plan. Uh, Didn't they try to pass it off as Amsterdam? They totally tried to pass it off like it was just Amsterdam. You could tell this place is much prettier but than the, Amsterdam. But the real ones, no. <laughs> all right. First, coffee. Definitely coffee. Let's we got go. a special place. Let's go. made it over to Axe, which is one of the best cafes, I think, here in the Netherlands. Definitely the best cup of coffee you can get in Harlem. Yeah, it's really, really tasty. And uh, I think it's up there with Men That Brill, which is in Rotterdam and one of our favorites. Yeah, and if you watched our oyster picking video, um, which was, oh my gosh, almost a year ago, um, the couple that we went with, Rob and Sally, they introduced us to this place, and we've been obsessed with it ever since. Yeah, every time we come to Harlem, this is definitely one of the first stops. And one of the places we're going to go a little bit later, a bar, actually uses some of their coffee in one of their cocktails, which I'm really interested in trying. So let's walk a little bit further into Harlem, and we'll give you a little bit of the game plan for what the day looks like. Absolutely. See, this coffee is amazing. So freaking delicious. We may need to get a bag for home. <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> so what we're going to do today. First of all, we're going to go and see probably the biggest thing that we need to go see in Harlem. And I cannot believe we missed it last time, and it's the Tyler's Museum. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I've heard it's incredibly beautiful. It's supposed to be the oldest museum of all of the Netherlands, and on the museum cart. As you know, we're big fans. So that's first on our agenda. After that, we're going to get some real deal things that are not, they don't have very much of in the Netherlands, and that's Mexican food, which, being a Texas boy, I think we found the best place in the Netherlands, and I, we're going to take you true. there. And then we have some shopping, some markets, maybe a little bit of extra things to go visit, and then finish it all off with a good cocktail. Yeah. Exactly. They're supposed to, the, one of the best cocktail bars, I think, uh, outside of Amsterdam or, or Harlem. Not uh, sorry, outside of Amsterdam or Rotterdam, is right here. Yeah. So we got a pretty packed day. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the Tyler's Museum. Yep. stumbled across this church behind us and as is truly our way F was thing was under construction and we have every time we go to see something <laughs> it's under construction i swear but it's beautiful inside yeah the uh, groat kirk of saint bavo yeah it's right off the groat mart 
which usually has this huge market when we come because it, it's Saturday, but it was actually really nice today. So one thing I kind of miss about Leiden is there's not really a, a square like a lot you see in a lot of the other Dutch cities. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought the coolest thing that in there was the fact the organ had been played by Mozart when he was just a little kid. Yeah, super interesting too. Um, the entire floor is made of like 1,500 like tombs. Mm -hmm. um, some dating back to the 15th century, so that place is definitely haunted. <laughs> Which is really interesting because in the U.S. in the cemeteries, you're not supposed to walk on the graves, like next to the gravestones. Here, it's like we well, kind of have to. All right, we're gonna go check out the Tyler's Museum next. Uh, I hear it's over by the water. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We just got done with the Tyler's, Tyler's Museum, Museum, which is doing a whole thing on Hockney, which apparently is a British artist. So they have a lot of really cool places where you can see things through an artist's view. That's the installation right now. Tracy, what was your favorite thing in the whole <laughs> museum? The oval room in the very back. Mm -hmm. Incredibly gorgeous. Yeah. Um, it definitely reminded me a lot of my childhood. I used to, that room is filled with like rocks and minerals and geodes and everything. And as a child, I had like a little box full of rocks that I would carry around. A box of rocks, if you will. <laughs> but like fool's gold and like obsidian. And like I had this whole like container of it. So it brought me back to my childhood. <laughs> How about you? My favorite thing had to have been the, uh, all of the different like things that were mechanical, but it's all the mechanical and, and instruments and things that were pre-computer. So everything still had to mechanically work. None of it was done by wire. So it wasn't a microcontroller, you know, 50 feet away, turning a little knob. It all had to work together seamlessly. All in all, what did you think of the museum? I thought it was fantastic. Um, thank you to those of you who recommended it to us um, yeah. after seeing our museum video uh, where we went to the Rijksmuseum Borjas. Mm -hmm. um, this was this was fabulous. Pro tip, if you have to use the restroom and you have a museum cart, use it. Oh yeah. That was really cool. I think we should walk around and see if we find a few more things because it's a little bit before our reservation for food. I think that would be a great idea. All right, let's see what else we can find. One of the many reasons we love coming to Harlem is it's a really fantastic shopping destination. There's a lot of stores here that Leiden doesn't necessarily have, but it's not as chaotic feeling as The Hague can be. 
Mm -hmm, absolutely. And you can get a lot of stuff without going to like the Mall of the Netherlands, which has its own different type of vibe. It's also really great because a lot of the stores here are definitely much more boutique-ish. Yeah, lots of local retailers like mm -hmm. this place behind us, the yeah. English Hatter. So cute. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, some bigger ones. So we are going to get some coffee for the house, but we also are going to look at maybe getting a, a nice candle for us to use for the holidays. Make those hazelic winter vibes happen. <laughs> Mexican food in all of the Netherlands that we've had so far. That we've had so far. Yes. yes. Absolutely. And the lady who works here is from Mexico, from what I understand. And the first time we came, the lady who sat at the table next to us was from Mexico City and said it was the best place. So, you know, that's how you know it's real, real good. Yeah. I'm super excited. They do have some things here that are very special, like a michelada, mm -hmm. which imagine if you mix a beer and a Bloody Mary. That's what a michelada is. Sounds disgusting. It's amazing. It's a very much a Mexican thing, and there's something that's very popular in Texas as well. It's so hard to find here in the Netherlands. That's very true. But I think we've talked about it enough. Let's go get Let's some. Let's go! It's this dipped thing where it's got the, the meat sauce and everything that you dip the taco into. Really, really tasty. But the queso fondido, I could just have five of those. And that's like a cheese dish with like spicy chorizo and you put it into tortillas. And it's the closest thing we can find to Tex-Mex. Mm -hmm. The margaritas are fantastic. If you're in the mood for a margarita, definitely come here. You absolutely positively need to make a reservation, though. They are packed 
all the time. And I'm so happy that they are because I don't want them to go away. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We actually ran into the person who we met here last time from Mexico City. She was here again. With Mariana, friend. so nice meeting you again. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, it's just really cool. I think we got one more thing you want to see and then a cocktail. Yes. The history first. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Tracy, it appears that we're standing on a bridge on top of a canal. <laughs> it appears that way, but we're actually at one of the old gates to the city of Harlem. What do you mean gates? Like city gates. Oh, like Leiden has two left. Harlem has this one? Just one of 12. Okay. And the site, the original gate was from like 1355, which is kind of crazy. It's been renovated a few times since then. Sure. The latest sure. being in 1985. Okay. So... Before both of us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, but it still felt very important to see since there's only one of the 12 left. Yeah. So we I need mean, the truck over here in the rain. Yeah, it's a little rainy right now. <laughs> and there definitely are a couple guys having some beer chips uh, next to the, the gate here. But it's really cool. So uh, the Amsterdam port lives on. Pretty cool. So that's our last dose of history for the day. I think we should get inside and somewhere where. Uh, it's going to be a little bit warmer. A uh, warm drink chip? Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> Let's go. doing something really cool um, in collaboration with the Franz Halls Museum. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the cocktails on their menu are actually inspired by paintings you can find there. And the one that I had that looked like a coffee drink actually had the coffee from Axe that we went to this morning. We've come full circle. Mm -hmm. It is raining, so we are going to head home to our pub. Yep. And uh, I want to say Harlem is just a really cool place. And it's a place that we come back to often because it's that's really cool spot. So Very aesthetic. Very <laughs> aesthetic. Thank you all for joining us this week. Uh, if you want to follow us on the Instagrams, we have an uh, Instagram there. Uh, you can follow it. It should be popping up here any second now. Or follow us on Facebook, all of those things. And we will see you next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.